Hey Sagittarius, this is Mystic Virgo. I'm here today to do a reading for you. It's going to be a timeless read. So whenever you see it, I hope it resonates. Please take what you need and leave the rest. Uh, also, I have, I'm accepting karma donations. I'm trying to uh, revamp my channel, get new equipment. I have a camera, but other things I need to go with the camera and everything. So if you all would be interested, I still am accepting private readings. Also, you can check that out in my about section. Okay. What messages universe do you have for me to discuss with Sagittarius? I see three of cups. That was your overall energy. Clarify this three of cups overall energy for Sagittarius, eight of swords. <clears throat> Maybe somebody's partying a little too much. Um, looks like there's too much of something going on and it's starting to wear down on you. Nine of cups. Yeah, somebody's partying a little bit too much, uh, probably having a, a third party situation. If you're single, not in a relationship, partying a little bit too much with maybe too many people, and you really, really want to settle down with one person, then you're going, you're wanting to come out of, of the dating arena of, of, of shacking up, of, of being with just more than one person. You're ready to settle down. Pentacles, I have here. You're headed toward, though, a relationship, a, a good relate, a family relationship, uh, a 50-50 relationship. See? You, you're head, somebody wants the same thing you want. On the fourth, clarify the four of swords. You, it's something that you need to come out of, though, you, that you're almost afraid to. You're putting your... Are you dreaming about somebody? Uh, somebody who you've been in a relationship with before. You're tired of being single. You're tired of being alone. You want to be happy work-wise and family-wise. You want your family. You want 2.2 kids and a dog and all that other good stuff. Okay, this is what you're headed for because I have justice. Right now, you're, you're just on the outside looking in, having fun, partying. Celebrate. You probably date a few people. You don't have to lay down with them or sleep with them or everything like that. But this is not the life that you want. You want to settle down with somebody, with family. You want a family. I uh, also see someone probably staying with a, a mother or your mother staying with you. Okay. At some, will stay with you at some point. You still are hanging around, um, chilling out, you know. Probably by yourself, single, not really, probably being a bit, a bit lonely. It's, it, okay, this is a burden for you, okay? So you're wanting to be happy in a relationship, but it's a burden because you're single, lonely. Just because you're laying down with somebody and getting, you know, knocked off, however you want to say it. That's, you're still lonely because it's not what you really want. It's not who you want. You want to love somebody. You want somebody to love you. You want to make love. There's a difference between making love and having sex, okay? And you're, you, you're just tired of the same old, same old, you know? You want something special with this two of cups. Offer your love to two of cups. It's like you're going to get a good job first, and then you're going to fall in love. It's going to all fall into place. And that's specifically for a college student. I don't know why I need to say that. Even though I know this will resonate with a lot of people. Nine of Cups. This is what you want. Wish fulfillment. But you're partying too much. Going out celebrating too much with your friends. This is what you want. If you want happiness. If you want a solid commitment with somebody. You have to start where? You have to start somewhere. And this is what you're doing. You're putting down your dancing shoes. You're not going out no more to the strip clubs. You're not spending time out with the guys or the girls or whatever. You want to go home and just chill out with your boo. You got to get you a boo first, a special boo. You got a, a couple of people, but they're not quality. They're not the people you take home to mama. You want to take home your queen. You want to take home your empress or your emperor, you know, take how it resonates. This is what's, what's worried, but you're praying for it for a relationship. You're praying for love. You're working on yourself, holding back, putting things back into order the way they should be. But you want this quicker than, than ever because you're tired of being alone. You're not getting younger. You're getting older. But this is going to be your wish fulfillment. You're cutting out dating. And this is what this is, dating, hanging out with friends and family, whatever. You're cutting all of that out. Not all the way, but you're letting a, you're letting that loose. So you can just go out and, and just concentrate on work and finding love or welcoming love into your life. Okay? You hung up in your head about it, but you, you don't want to be alone, but you are. 
by um by by chance not by not by your own decision but this is how it is right now i hope i'm making sense ace of swords energy is saying that you have a, a beautiful love coming into your life it's going to be from the universe it's going to be a gift from god he's going to welcome and you're going to welcome this you all are going to welcome each other with open arms open legs take it how it resonates <laughs> messages for Sagittarius kind of like your energy right now is a bit scattered because with on on any relationship wise because you don't want to be hurt anymore temperance you don't want to be hurt anymore you want to be treated fairly in the relationship you don't want to be hurt anymore I just said this you're you're afraid of love you don't want to be hurt anymore but you want to be in love okay the hermit mode stuck but you're reflecting this is a good thing you've stepped back You've hung up in your head and you, you, you've put it off long enough. It's time for you to take a step back, take a breather and relax and just pray to God that he sends you someone who he made specifically for you. And he will. And this person, this woman, this man is going to be the person of your dreams, your wish fulfillment, your prayer answered. Your prayers will be answered. Messages for the Sagittarius here. I have... Two, uh, three of Pentacles, and I have here uh, the Five of Pentacles in reverse. You are working very, very hard, and here this is you're leaving people out in the cold, not on purpose, but because you need to. You've stepped aside, and I said you were stepping aside because you were working too much, partying too much with friends and family, celebrating, and not really being happy with what you were doing because you you don't have to uh, go out so much and party, and 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 this is because you're lonely. You really want that special one. You want that soulmate. And this is what you're lacking. And this is why you're leaving people in the cold. Not on purpose, but because it's a ne it's necessary because you're going into hermit mode to redo, to reflect, to grow, to find your love, to look, to find your soulmate. To what did um Eddie Murphy say in in um coming to America? He went to went to to whatever to find his queen. Yeah, you're looking for your queen or your king. Love. Damn, I'm feeling love. Y'all looking for love, okay? I have clear your space though. Make room for your love. Make love for your make room for your queen. Make room for your king. Okay. Clear that space. Healthy lifestyle. Eat healthy. Work on your gut. Uh, eat vegetables, eat fruits, eat room, greens. And look, all is well. All is well. Everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to with hitting blessings you will soon understand. And right now, I'm telling you, I don't know why I'm hearing the theme to um, all in the family. I'm hearing that all in the family theme. <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe that's just saying with, with YT Bunker and his wife, they were together for a while. Even though he was very, very cantankerous and everything, they grew old together and they were very, very happy together. Maybe you, this person you with, you're going to grow old together with this person. Very, very loving, loving, loving relationship. I'm hearing that. I don't know why I'm hearing that song in my head. That Archie Bonker thing. <laughs> Indigo crystal children here. You have bond. You have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. You're probably some sort of teacher. Maybe you will meet a teacher and, and, and fall in love. Okay? Maybe you're going to fall in love with uh, a teacher. Or maybe um, someone... Uh, I'm sorry, I was looking for some more cards. Um, you knew when you were younger, younger that you had some sort of gift. You've always been connected to death. You've always been connected to... I had a fascination with death, not saying anything morbid, but you've always wanted to know what happened on the other side of life, okay? Or you have a child that's going to be like this, okay? Let me get some more cards, y'all. One second. Okay. More messages for Sagittarius love life. Universe, give me some more clear messages for Sagittarius love life. Here. What's going on for Sagittarius love life? This beautiful person that they want in their life. The person they look, they're going to grow old with. For, uh, look, career, career and finances. This is coming first for you. 
bettering your career, bettering your finances, growing more income. It's like you go to work, you meet your love life. You meet your love. You meet the person you're destined to be with, okay? Growing old like or, like Archie Bunker and Edith Bunker, okay? That song came to me. I don't know why, and I'm seeing their faces, okay? Just hugged up together singing that song, okay? You deserve love, Sagittarius. You are very, very lovable, and you are going to find that person for you. I'm not going to guarantee it. The universe does, okay? Romantic feelings, being close to this person. Um, this person is going to be your match. It's like a, a gift from heaven. Your feelings are real and worth exploring with this person. You're going to get, you're going to meet your match. Calling in your soulmate. You're going to meet your match. Loving, loving relationship. Y'all going to have some chemistry with each other. Passionate, very chemistry. Uh, charismatic. Somebody tall or who overshadows you. You're probably a little bit shorter than this person. Look, look They're going to look into your eyes and you're going to see how passionate they are to you. They are for you. Looking across the room at each other and know exactly what y'all going to do when y'all get home. You know, without even having to talk. Okay. And this person is coming into your life very, very soon. Very, very soon. Hear it? Very, very soon. Hear it? Very, very soon for you. Clearly to tie what you want, so it comes to you now. It's happening. It's coming. Sent from heaven. Okay. Oh, sent from heaven. Wedding. Sent from heaven. Honeymoon. <laughs> Give me one more card because I don't want to tempt fate. Final message for Sagittarius. Making me want to cry. Whew. One more card for Sagittarius. Oh, true love. I'm done. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Man, I wish I was a Sagittarius. I'm done. 